Hi, I'm Giles Naranjo, and I'm going to explain how class 1 genes are transcribed to build ribosomes. So class 1 genes in eukaryotes are genes that do not code for proteins, but instead for ribosomal RNA, a type of RNA which is used to construct ribosomes, which are required for the creation of proteins. They're transcribed continuously by RNA polymerase 1 in the nucleolus. The process of transcribing class 1 genes starts with the promoter here. This promoter essentially marks a start point for the RNA polymerase to begin transcription. So class 1 promoters have two sections. This first one is called the upstream control element, and it helps speed up the process of transcription when it's used. Now the second one is called the core element. So what's going to happen here is the dimeric eukaryotic upstream binding factor will bind to the upstream control element and it will recruit a protein called SL1, and then SL1 will recruit RNA polymerase 1. Now RNA polymerase 1 will then start transcribing, leaving SL1 and the upstream binding factor behind so that they can continuously recruit more RNA polymerase 1. So let's take a look at what the RNA polymerase 1 is actually going to transcribe. So it's going to transcribe this long sequence here, and it has copies of three important sections called 18S, 5.8S, and finally 28S. This 5S region is not going to be transcribed by RNA polymerase 1. It will instead be handled by RNA polymerase 3, but it's also important for the creation of ribosomes. So now RNA polymerase 1 will transcribe this long section containing 18S, 5.8S, and 28S, and then it's going to run into a protein called TTF1, which will cause it to pause and eventually detach from the DNA. What happens now is this long sequence of RNA we just transcribed is going to get processed. First, there's going to be a split here between the 18S and the 5.8S, and then there's going to be another split over here between the 5.8S and the 28S. Eventually, we'll be left with only the 18S, 5.8S, and 28S RNA sequences. What happens now is that the 18S sequence is going to end up binding with several ribosomal proteins to build the small subunit of the ribosome. And then the 5.8S and 28S sequences are going to also bind with some ribosomal proteins along with that 5S RNA sequence from earlier to form the large subunit of the ribosome. These two subunits will remain separated until they exit the nucleolus and find a messenger RNA which will bring them together for translation.